Hey, what's up? Sloke Wavy. I'm an artist signed to Dysfunctional Records. And this video is kind of just to give everybody, give everybody a background, backstory on how I became who I am. And, you know, there's a lot of people that listen to my music that don't necessarily know who I am. There's a lot of people that do know who I am. So this video is more so for the people that have no fucking clue who I am. So I'm from Oklahoma. Um, never been out of Oklahoma. I mean, I've been out of Oklahoma, but I've never lived anywhere else other than Oklahoma. Uh, I've pretty much lived in Tulsa and White Eagle my whole life. Uh, I live in Ponca City now, which is just five miles north of White Eagle. But I've always, you know, lived in White Eagle. White Eagle is a Native American reservation, northern Oklahoma. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm from. And I am Native American if you didn't put two and two together. Shit, really, man, it was uh, when I was real young, like, young as hell. Like, I was born in 92. 98, when Wanna Be a Baller came out, that's when I knew. I didn't even understand shit. I was just a dumbass little kid, and I knew that that's what I wanted to do. And, I mean, to this day, man, I put that song on, and I fucking, you know what I'm saying, I fucking get hyped for it. But, yeah, it definitely was that song that did that for me. Just a little, just a little motherfucker didn't understand shit, but I knew that that shit was fire. Shit, man. All that other shit, all that other shit, they can have. Y'all can have that shit. That everything that you know that comes with it. I just want to be a better artist. I want to, I want to make good albums. I want to make classic albums. I want to make dope songs. I want to be a lyricist. I want to be bar heavy in everything that I do. Like that's what motivates me to be better than you. You know, not on no fucking, you know, fuck you shit, but just, I want to be better than everybody. And, uh, if you're not trying to be the best at whatever the fuck you're doing, then, I mean, why are you doing it? Shit, man. Probably Bone Thugs. Probably the biggest, probably number one, because, I mean, just, I used to emulate them all the time. Like, back when we first started rapping, I mean, it was always that fast shit, trying to get, uh, you know, beats that sounded like their beats, you know, so, yeah, Bone Thugs definitely number one influence. Probably, man, OMB. OMB was that dude. On, where, where I'm from, OMB was that motherfucker. Like, as far as rap goes, like, he was that, he was that dude. Everybody knew who that OMB was rapping, so, you know, and I had to be better than him. So, he made me a better artist. I mean, even when, you know, long time ago when we were both rapping but we weren't you know good friends yet I was like man I gotta be better than that motherfucker you know what I'm saying so he was a personal influence of mine here comes the wave man and you know I guess all the shit that I put out prior you wouldn't think that I would make that album but what happened I heard the beat I was like, nah, no, this, this ain't my style. And I was like, fuck it, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I just, it, it was it was over. Like, it was recorded. Everything was done in a motherfucking hour and 45 minutes. Everything. So, I'm with Dysfunctional Records because I believe in having a team. You know, you got to have um, motherfuckers around you that are real with you. Tell you when something's, like, not you know what I'm saying? You need a motherfucker around you to be like, yo, man, you can do better than that. Uh, nah, man, this one ain't this one ain't it. You know what I'm saying? Dude, try it again, you know? Um, you need that around you or else you'll never get better. So all those motherfuckers out there that are like, man, I don't need nobody, no label, man. Fuck that. I'm me. I'm... You're not going to get to that next level. So um, Anthony Vega and Owen B are like my fucking brothers. So that's why I'm on the label. Um, I don't think I, I mean, I don't fucking know. I mean, I'm sure there's a place for me somewhere, but I mean, I don't want to sound fucking like I'm too good or being a fucking hater or anything like that, but I don't know. I don't know new music. I don't pay attention to the industry, you know, so I'm not really sure at all. Like, will motherfucker come around me like, man, you heard such and such? And I'm like, no, I'm not like. I don't listen to music like that. Not like that. I'm just saying I don't listen to new shit, I guess. Oh, um, 
it, it would probably be somebody that can sing like hell. Um, because I like I love like R and B, but I can't sing. Because if I could, I probably wouldn't even be doing this rap shit. I'd probably be doing some damn motherfucking R and B. You know what I'm saying? So somebody that would get on the hook, some famous singer, motherfucker, get on the hook. So yeah, that'd be who I would want to work with. Probably like a motherfucking I don't know who can sing. Chris Brown. Well, I'm an up and coming artist. And I, I'm a little older though, I'm 28. Uh, a lot of these motherfucking rappers are like 16, 17, 18, you know, just like I was. And um, one of the things that, one of the mistakes that younger cats make is they don't want to listen to um, what some of the older cats have to say. When I was younger, I soaked up game all the time. If if somebody was willing to fucking sit there and talk to me about shit or what, what direction I need to go, I mean, I was fucking all ears, you know, and... You know, I think that's pretty rare. So uh, listen, listen to people because they'll tell you like if motherfuckers ain't responding to your music, that means they don't like it. So because a lot of motherfuckers are too, uh, too nice. So just remember the shit's not for everybody and not everybody's going to get famous. So keep that shit in mind. Know why you're doing it. If you're in it for the money and you ain't buzzed yet, probably ain't going to happen. So. All right, well, anyway, that was my little artist spotlight shit. And uh, coming with some new music, I got sounds from the flip side. I got to check with my bro Vega when that shit comes out because I'm stupid. And I fucking don't remember shit, but I know it's in April. So sounds from the flip side. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's got a lot of fucking bangers on it. And, uh, and I'm looking to drop two more shits this year. So, I mean, I, it's... All that shit's coming. It's all coming together too, you know. Like I, we're winning. Step up to a man and post for a while, homie. This my year, and that's some real shit. If I'm being honest, I just wanna get paid. Fuck all the hoes, fuck all the clothes, and fuck all the.